I just wanted to make a video on the Elise Archer situation. Elise Archer was the Attorney General in the Liberal Party government. She was forced to resign and she left Parliament and after the election was called she announced her candidacy as an independent and that was met with a lot of interest because she had such a high profile and she would have taken away a significant number of votes from the Liberal Party. Now, this morning Elise Archer has done an interview on ABC Radio with Leon Compton and her voice, her way of, uh, her manner of speech was not normal. Um, I don't recall hearing her speak too many times because I normally read the news rather than consume video or audio content but I'd never noticed her in the past have any kind of uh, speech difficulties um, she always seemed to be perfectly articulate and this morning she was lost for words at times her speech was slurred people have remarked that she sounded like she was drunk to me it was something a little different now possibly it was to do with the substance, alcohol or something else, yes. Um, it could be something more serious. She may have been having a stroke, for all I know. And it's just been announced, uh, what, uh, I'm not sure how long that interview was done ago, but say yeah, a couple of hours ago or so, that she's withdrawing her candidacy and That was done for health reasons and the announcement was put out by her husband Dale so a bit of a shock development on top of a shock development um, really uh, it's it's very dramatic and I have to say that I'm not sorry that she's withdrawn her candidacy you know not wishing a stroke upon anyone if that's what it was not wishing an alcohol problem on anyone if that's what it was not not wishing anyone to be dependent on a substance or abuse a substance, substance. Um, and no one really knows what was affecting Elise Archer. The, um, Leon Compton did ask or, or mention that she might have just come out of surgery and been recovering from surgery, but Elise Archer dismissed that. She said something at the end which I couldn't quite understand. I replayed it a few times. It sounded like she said, something like the others were mouthing about me yesterday and I've got a bit of a dry mouth today now I again I couldn't I couldn't really understand her words because she mumbled it but um, she did remark she had a dry mouth now that can be a stroke symptom um, it can also be a hangover symptom so it doesn't really help us understand what's going on I noticed in the interview that she was saying, uh, talking about herself and the Liberal Party, introduced the term we, you know, like the first person, you know, plural form, as if she was still a Liberal. She kept talking about how she had real Liberal values. She was uh, criticising Madeleine Ogilvy as coming from outside the Liberal Party. And so her candidacy, candidacy anyway was really in my view, unfortunate. And she was yet another former major party figure running as an independent. You know, I feel it's a real shame, I've already done a video on this, that the big shift towards independent members could be undermined by those members basically being big party figures. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that she's not a candidate anymore. I, I could make, other comments and criticisms of Elise Archer when you know, don't want to make this about me but I have brought to her numerous complaints which were supported by documentary evidence complaints about perjury by JP's concealing of evidence police corruption and judicial corruption and problems at the Department of Justice uh, there's a JP who's been advocating for detainee abuse, who's being protected by the Department of Justice. 
And I haven't gotten anywhere. I never did get anywhere with Elise Archer. And I found that to be absolutely obscene. So, you know, I'm not glad, I'm not sad to see her go twice now. Uh, the statement by Dale did say that they won't be making any further comment. So we'll probably not have it confirmed. Uh, what was going on, uh, unless someone can leak some information. You know, hopefully it was just a bit of a hangover or she'd had a couple of drinks. One does, does have to ask the question based on that performance. Worst case scenario, as I said, she's had a stroke or something along those lines. I'm no medical expert. Slurred speech is a symptom of stroke. I think most people know that. Um, there was no video, so you couldn't really see what her face looked like. Obviously, she's been under a lot of stress, and that's something that she spoke about. She feels like she's been bullied. And anyway, we're, we're now at an Elise Archer free election. So, interesting times. I thought that was just worth talking about, uh, especially given my personal history, history with Elise Archer. Thanks for listening.